Good morning, it is currently 9.23. We have two minutes before we go to warm up for our two shows on Christmas Eve. Usually we have three shows on a Saturday, but it's a two show Saturday because tomorrow's Christmas day and we have no shows. So we did our three shows yesterday, two shows today, 10.30, 2.30, early finish. Um, my parents are watching the 2.30, so they're gonna then drive me home to Joel. They're also giving um, Rosie a lift, who's in the cast, because um, she needs to get back to London. And I'm so excited for Christmas because I get to spend it with Joel. Joel's coming to spend Christmas with our family. His uh, his parents, my in-laws, came, my future in-laws, uh, came last weekend and we all had dinner together with my parents and we did Christmas presents and whatnot, so we kind of had a little fake Christmas day with them last week. <clears throat> but because Joel needs to be in London for Hamilton um, and my family live just outside of London, um, there just wouldn't be time to go to Crewe, which is where Joel's from, which is three and a half hours away from London. Um, so he's spending Christmas with my family, which I'm very excited about. I think I've got him some really cool presents, including, I'll show you, I'll show you now. For some reason, I just had it in my head that I wanted to make him something. I wanted there to be a present that was handmade and I know how to crochet. So I was like, okay, let's pick up the crochet hook again, kind of re-teach myself how to crochet. And I made him a scarf and I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's very like if Molly Weasley made someone a scarf um, and I wanted it to be multicolored so it's just joyful and happy and fun. And there's probably, you know, lots of stitching errors and whatnot, but I crocheted all of the individual granny squares and then I crocheted little strips of gray between all of them. And then I crocheted them together with strips of color then I trimmed it all along the outside with more colour down there and then I just ended it all off with some rainbow stripes and now I'm upset that I didn't make one for myself because I love it but I need to wrap this before I go and today we have Potluck Santa which is different from Secret Santa it's basically Secret Santa but with no names so you just buy a generic gift up to the price of £10 and then you put them all on a table and then everyone picks a present and you can just pick any random present, which I think is a lot of fun. But also, it's the bauble competition today. I held a bauble competition um, <clears throat> with all the departments and dressing rooms, anyone who wanted to take part. I bought these big baubles and everyone had to decorate them and put them on the tree. Um, and everyone went all out. And I made everyone vote on my Instagram and we have a first, second, third. I gave the person who came third their present last night because they're away for Christmas. But the people who have come first and second, they are here and I'm excited, I'm excited. I can hear warm up beginning, so let's go! Christmas Eve, yes! Hang on a minute, I'm forgetting something. Now we can go. Max has decided to wear something extremely subtle for today's warm up, it's like really low key. He doesn't like Christmas at all. Hates Christmas, hates it. I'm gonna have to do a little pan down. Oh, oh. What a trainer. What a, trainer. What a lovely trainer. <laughs> a formal trainer. Bar humbug to you too, Max. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Get out of here! Santa! <laughs> oh, bum hug. <laughs>
when you get a card from Max Fulham, you get a Gordon the Monkey sticker. <laughs> As you can see, everyone went full out with feeling for the ball ball competition. But I have a feline, I know who the winner is. Look at everyone patiently waiting for their prezzies. <laughs> spin the spinner, then I'll shout the name, then you can go and pick your present. You can pick it up. If once you've picked it up, you want to swap your present, you can, but whatever you then pick up, no swapping after all. Oh. 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 You can oh. pick your own present. Next up, Kerry. Oh. oh, I've got an early one. Oh, I'm excited. What am I going to go for? What am I going to go? What does that one say? It guaranteed a white Christmas. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go for this one. Well done to everyone who yeah. took part. They were very, very good. 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 Number two in second place. Oh. It was from roll, please. The boys ensemble. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Wow. Wow. Two thousand five hundred forty-eight votes. So, can we get your prizes, boys? Oh. 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 The boys yeah. won it. Yeah. So, in first place, with a whopping <laughs> two thousand seven hundred eighty-nine uh, uh, votes, it was. Christmas. Merry Christmas! It's Christmas Day! Yay. And we're on the way to Tom and G's and there was just a pausing conversation and what did you say? What? Oh yeah. <laughs> I really wish the original Chef Mickey would be would, would come back. <laughs> That's what's on his brain. Christmas Day on the way to my family's and he's like, I really wish they'd bring the original Chef Hang Mickey's on. back. That's what goes No, you're through. not giving context because you Joel were talking about brain. G's podcast. In fairness. Only briefly. So then that's what led me to believe, because obviously on our podcast she talks about like their people's favourite Disney days and stuff. Yeah. So that's where it came in. For context for the viewers there. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and 
and just like that, we are back in Canterbury. We are. And we've been back for a day. Joel had Boxing Day off. <laughs> I'm now driving back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we had Boxing Day together, but I had two shows. You are heading back to go and do your first like show this side of Christmas. I'm going to go lower, just Sorry, so your arms are so high. I'm only little. <laughs> I'll tilt, there we go. I am, I'm going back to the land of Hamilton. The land of Hamilton, but here we go. 13 show week, let's do it. We're about to do our 59th show of the run, fourth show of the week. We still have nine to go after this. And the next time you see a panto vlog, it will be 2023. Um, and it will be our final week of panto. It's gone so fast, and yet there have been so many shows. <laughs> However, 2023, it's gonna be the year of the YouTube comeback. And I'm saying this now so that you hold me accountable because I really do wanna make more YouTube videos in the new year. Um, I have a bunch of Disney vlogs as well that I need to edit and get up in the new year. Plus I am also going to Disneyland Paris with Joel. It will be our first ever Disney trip together and we are both, you know I'm a big Disney fan but Joel is also a massive Disney fan. We go to Iceland next year, we go to Rome, we go to Pompeii. We have lots of adventures planned for next year. Um, I also want to read more next year because I had such a great reading year in 2021. I read 55 books, I think, in 2021. This year, I read 15 books. There are several reasons why I didn't read that much this year. The big one being at the beginning of the year, I went through an emotional breakdown. Um, so just wasn't in the right headspace to be reading anything. Um, but then I've done so many small projects this year, like small acting projects, that I have been in a rehearsal process for most of the year and a rehearsal process is the most chaotic and hectic part of a show because you are doing the most hours and the most learning and your brain is just sort of working overtime in rehearsals so usually I go through sort of like maybe one or two rehearsal processes in a year and then I'm in a contract for like six months to a year. 2022 has brought with it um, the mini-series, I've done Treason, Witches of Eastwick, Caucasian Chalk Circle, um, Panto, there's something else I'm missing, what am I missing? Maybe I'm not, am I? I don't know, but even so, four rehearsal processes within the space of six months. Whew. It's been a lot, my friends, it's been a lot. So yeah, just haven't been in the right frame of mind to get as much reading done uh, as usual. However, that being said, I am going to do a, uh, a vlog dedicated to the 15 books that I read this year, but I also want your suggestions. If there are videos that you have missed on this channel, or videos I've never made on this channel, or things that you want to see, please let me know in the comments. Um, and I also want to finish my show review um, project that I was doing, um, because I got to the Adams Family, and then the person that I met on the Adams Family tour and was with, in a relationship with, for four years, broke up with me. So the thought of doing that show review video um, wasn't massively appealing and I wanted to do them in order. I now have the balls to make that video. Um, so that is coming after Panto. I need to finish Panto because <sighs> a lot, lots of headspace being taken up by Panto right now. Um, but I'm almost done. January the 8th we finish Panto and then the show reviews will begin again. But if you have any other suggestions of videos you want to see on this channel, then please let me know. Until next time, my friends. Speak soon.